What's going on guys, Flying DBC here and I'm back for another Pokemon Masters video and today we're going to be talking about strikers that we need in the game. Because even though we did get quite a bit of sync pairs over the course of 3 months, there are still some categories or typings that definitely need the help. And uh, we're just going to get right into it. Um, so the first category that comes to mind is the electric type. Um, cause if we go into them, uh, we can see that they only have 3 still and these guys are actually pretty old. Um, I mean, Elisa did get her 6-star Awakening and a great expansion, which definitely does help her in the Electric type category, especially with Luxray coming into the game, making them more viable, because with Electric Terrain, it just makes them so much more stronger now. Um, but in terms of Strikers, we still need a new Striker in the game. It's great that Elisa did get her great expansion with the uh, 6-star EX Awakening, which is great, of course, but uh, we definitely need a new striker for electric types and what better electric type to get added to the game mega manectric i feel mega manectric would be a nice addition to the electric type family in, Me in pokemon masters um he would be a very good special attacker in the game that's if they were to make him mega evolve like if you were to look at his uh special attack stats they're actually pretty good um, same with his speed stats, so like if he were to come to the game, he'd be a good special type uh, striker with a good speed stat as well. Now, of course, he does, he is not good defensively. Um, he His physical attack stat isn't really that great either. Of course, um, he is a special attacker, so like if he were to come to the game, he'd be a special striker, which would be nice, of course. But if they don't want to mega evolve him... Um, even just regular Manectric would be fine as well, of course. He is still a very good Pokemon. Um, I mean, he's kind of underwhelming a little bit in uh, regular form, like regular Manectric. Um, so, like, if Manectric were to come to the game, uh, he'd be great if uh, he could Mega Evolve, because he does have that option to if he were to. Um, and, uh, of course, like, what better Sync Pair or uh, Trainer to have with him than the Electric-type Gym Leader? from the Hoenn region and I think his name is uh, Watson uh, from uh, from the Hoenn region, the electric uh, gym leader. Um, so like he, Manectric and him would be a great synchro to have to the game and I think that would be a great option to add for the electric type category. Because uh, the electric type category definitely needs a new uh, striker because they are lacking. Now, N is coming to the game. Um, but we just don't know who his sync pair is going to be. Uh, like, it could be Reshram or Zekrom. Personally, I'd like it to be Zekrom over Reshram. Um, but, uh, we'll have to see. We got, like, six, seven more days until the reveal comes out. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, Manectric would be a very good option, too, of course. So, I definitely welcome Manectric. And I would really like Manectric to come. Also, another electric type I'd like to see in the game is Toxtricity, and with Pokemon Masters now introducing Generation 8 Pokemon with Gloria and Sashian, I think adding Toxtricity to the electric type family would be a nice option as well, considering now they're just introducing Generation 8, like I said, with Gloria and Sashian, it'd be very nice to add Toxtricity to the game as well. Um, so this is his low key form and he does have the amped up form as well, which is very cool. Uh, personally, I don't mind either or. Uh, they both look very nice. Um, now his uh, low key form is the uh, special attacker it looks like. And uh, the amped up form seem is I think the uh, physical attacker. No, I, no, okay, they have the same stats it looks like. Um, so like either the amped up form or the... Um, uh, or the low key form would be very nice. Um, of course, like they are different forms, so like if we get one, we're gonna get the other eventually too. Uh, but Toxtricity, I'd really like to see in Pokemon Masters as well, as uh, he is a nice electric type. He is part poison too. Um, so like if you were to come to the game, maybe they could add in a poison type move for him as well. Um, but a lot of us know him as like a an electric type. Like when you look at him, it just screams out electric, especially the amped up form. Um, the the low key form looks more like a poison type, uh, but the amped up form is like definitely screams electric typing. <laughs> but he's definitely a very very cool Pokemon. Um, so he's another Pokemon I'd really like to see get added to the electric type family in Pokemon Masters. So now that we just finished up with the Electric-type category, the next category I want to talk about is Dark-type. 
Um, dark type, we only have two strikers for uh, for the category here, and uh, it definitely is lacking big time. Houndoom is old, he doesn't even have a 6 star awakening. Mighty Ina is very good too, he does have his 6 star awakening, which is great. Um, and Houndoom can kind of do both physical and special attacking moves, but when you're in mega evolution state, he only has special attacking moves. So like clearly he's going to be the special attacker striker for the dark type category. Um, while Mighty Ina is a physical type striker. Um, so of course, like, you could, like it, it's great that they did that so they don't kind of like overlap each other. Because um, like if you're going up against an event and they have high special defense, then of course you're going to use Mighty Ina so that you can do more damage with the physical type uh, moves. Um, so regardless, even though they're both uh, uh, like one is special, one is physical, we still need another option for the dark type category just to sort of open up the option gate. Um, like, they're both very good, of course. Um, Hound do Mega Vault, so of course his damage is going to be a lot higher. And then Mighty Ina, he doesn't Mega Vault, but he does have his 6 star Awakening, and he does hit very hard as well. Even though Hound Doom and Mighty Ina do hit very hard, and they are still relevant to this day, I'd like to see Hydreigon come to the game, because he is part dark, Dragon and Dark type, so like if you were to come to the game, they could give him a Dragon type move. Um, or if they bring him into the game, he could also just be strictly dragon. And uh, but honestly, with dark type being very low in uh, members for the category for strikers, I think it would be very fitting for Hydreigon to be the next member to the dark type category, um, since he is part dark. And uh, with his move set, of course, like he he's probably going to be like a special type of uh, striker, um, because like if we look at his uh, stats, his special attacking stat. It's definitely higher than his physical attacking stat, but like of course they could add in a um, um, a physical attacking move for Hydreigon. So like uh, for a special, he could have uh, Dark Pulse, which would obviously be very very good because then you could also flinch them, which is nice. Um, and then for his physical attacking move, they could probably give him um, maybe Crunch or uh, a Dragon type move. So like maybe Dragon Tail uh, would be cool. Um, so like that could definitely be an option, but uh, like if they only want to make him a special type of uh, striker Then of course like we could expect to see like a uh, dragon pulse or uh, dark pulse But like I want him to be a dark type Because <laughs> uh, dark type definitely needs more members for the category So having him uh, be a dark type uh, would probably give him dark pulse or uh, snarl um, maybe he's gonna even be a better version of Houndoom, so honestly, if that happens, then obviously Houndoom is gonna be <laughs> irrelevant, but uh, honestly, I'd like to see this guy with uh, Dark Pulse, or um, if they don't want to make uh, Hydreigon like a better version of Houndoom, then they can give him other stuff or just put him in the Dragon type category, but like I said, I'd, pre I'd prefer him to be a Dark type. Uh, just because we need more options for the dark type category and he's and he definitely fits that role very very good Because like, when you look at him, yeah, it does scream dragon type as well uh, But when I first saw him in Pokemon when I was playing the games I Like yeah dragon for sure and then I knew that he was gonna be part dark like just yeah <laughs> You can definitely see that big time uh, But his moveset like it it, it it could vary it could definitely vary um, But I could definitely see him having a dark pulse for sure for a secondary move, if they want to give him like a dual typing, um, then he could probably have Dark Pulse. Um, or if they want to add in a physical type move, because his physical attack and damage isn't that bad either. Um, it's still up there. Uh, so then maybe uh, for Dragon type, they could give him a Dragon Tail. Uh, just to add a little bit of, uh, of a different move set, just so it doesn't like overlap with uh, Houndoom, like I said. Uh, so for Dark type, he's going to be the only one that I'd like to see so far. Um, and it's definitely a very high possibility that he will come to the game eventually because he is a uh, pretty favorite Pokemon among the community of Pokemon. Like, he does look very, very cool. And now for the final category, we got the ground type. We got our lady over here, Cynthia, with uh, Hapu. Hapu and her little horse over there, that little dark Sally. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. This category is probably one of the worst. Um, like, look at the options. You only have Cynthia. You're not even going to use, um, wait, is it? Yeah, Hapu, Hapu. <laughs> I, I don't know why I thought it was something else, so I'm glad I got the name right. But uh, we got Hapu, um, and then Cynthia. And of course, for the for the strikers, if you have Cynthia, you're obviously going to be running Cynthia over Hapu. 
Hapu isn't even that great either. Like, if we look at her moveset, she has high horsepower, um, which actually is a good damaging move, especially when you get her to uh, 5 stars, the damage would definitely be a lot higher. Um, and then she has Mud Slap, which uh, lowers the accuracy. So, if you don't have Cynthia and, uh, and you have Hapu, of course, um, then I guess she can be a decent option if you have her at a higher rarity. Because at 3 stars, uh, her physical attack is uh, 257, uh, but if you get her all the way up to 5 stars, then her physical attack is going to be a little bit over uh, 300, which is going to be great, uh, because then you're going to be doing good damage. Especially with high horsepower being like that high in damage, like that's pretty good actually. And then you have uh, Mud Slap, which lowers the accuracy. And then uh, to help with the accuracy move, like with these moves not being 100% accuracy, you have X accuracy up, and then you have Stand Strong, which uh, increases her attack, and uh, it raises her physical defense, which is good. So she's not like a bad option by any means, but like if you have Cynthia, Cynthia just blows Hapu out of the water. So, uh, but again, ground type is also one of those categories that has very limited options, and with Cynthia being a pokey fair. Um, the chances of you having her if you just started the game are going to be very low. Now, you can have a chance of getting her because uh, Steven and Cynthia's banner is up at the time of me recording this still. Um, so you can have a chance of getting her, but uh, still, even if you get her, the, the category is very limited. And um, yeah, we definitely need more options for sure. An option I thought of for the ground type category is Nidoking, and I think he would actually be a very interesting option just due to the fact that he has the ability Poison Point. And uh, this would be very good uh, because with uh, very limited options for ground type, Nidoking would be very, very cool because of uh, the Poison Point. So like every time you get hit with, uh, with the physical type move, uh, the enemy has a chance of getting poisoned if they were to hit you with a direct attack with the physical move. And I think that'll be very, very good, of course, too. Depending on the situation, if the Pokemon can get poisoned, it's going to be a nice way to poison the enemy when you're going up against a physical attacker, which will be great. Um, and then, of course, uh, Nidoking isn't really, like, the bulkiest Pokemon, but, like, he does have some kind of bulk. Um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I thought his bulk was a little bit better, but um, even his physical attack isn't, like, the best or anything, but um, uh, he definitely can be up there, of course. Because uh, Pokemon Masters can sort of uh, change up the stats a little bit and make them a little bit better. So, like, maybe his physical attacking stat could be, like, 350. Um, and then, like, of course, with the uh, abilities and grids and everything, this will, like, it will make him a lot better. So, like, I feel Nidoking would be a nice option for the ground type category. And then having Poison Point as his ability would be very good, too. Because then when you go up against a uh, physical attacker... You have a chance of poisoning them by just having them attack you, which would be very, very nice. Um, and then with Nidoking, King, like, he can maybe even have Mega Kick. Because in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, uh, Nidoking, King, he was just a monster with Mega Kick. So, <laughs> having Mega Kick with uh, Nidoking King would be very fitting. And, uh, and then obviously having that uh, type shifting so that uh, Mega Kick turns into a ground type move would be very nice as well. Um, and then for an AoE attack... Uh, I don't know if he would have an AoE attack, but uh, Mega Kick for a ground type would be very nice. And then, of course, he'd either have uh, X Attack or uh, um, X Crit Up or something like that. Uh, but since he's a striker, I would feel that he would have X Attack over that. Um, and then for his passive, maybe that could increase um, his accuracy for uh, for Mega Kick, or the accuracy can get fixed in uh, in the grid. But either way, Mega or uh, Nidoking. King. Would be a very nice option for the ground type category as uh like honestly like his stats aren't really that great uh but like i said pokemon masters can also change up the stats a little bit to make it more fitting so that uh he's a nice option now in terms of the trainer that could use him i can't really think of a trainer right now um uh, but i'm sure there is a trainer that would uh go with nidoking king so like maybe another version of blue um or leaf I, like or red i don't know there there are options for sure but as of right now <laughs> i can't think of anyone but i know nido king would be a very cool option to have for the ground type category and for the final option we have swamper over here and uh honestly with the uh, skeptile getting his grid expansion with brendan 
um, I feel having Swampert in the game would be very, very fitting as well. Um, now, they could do two things. They can make him a water type or a ground type. Um, but I guess this sort of fit with Skeptile and the starters and everything, they'd probably make him a water type. Um, but just for the ground type category, because we need more options, I would like to see uh, Swampert be a ground type. Now, there are other options, of course, too, like Nidoking, like I just uh, had before Swampert. Um, but on, like Swampert and then having his Mega Evolution would be very nice. Like, look at Swampert. Like, <laughs> this dude's a bulky boy. He is so cool. Um, but having Swampert be a ground type would be very, very cool. Um, and like Mega Evolution, we need more Mega Evolutions in the game. Okay, I mean, we already have quite a bit, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, Swampert coming into the game with a Mega Evolution would be very nice, and then with him being a ground type, it would definitely help the ground type category big time. Um, and then like when we look at his stats, we can see his physical attacking stat is obviously going to be good. Um, but if he were to come into uh, Pokemon Masters with a Mega Evolution, his physical attacking stat is going to go through the roof. <laughs> that's a big increase, that's for sure. And then his... Um, his bulkiness goes up a little bit too. Like when he mega evolves, you can just tell that his defense is gonna go up a little bit too. Like there's no way his defense is gonna drop by looking like that. <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. Um, but if Swamper were to come into the game, um, I'd like him to be ground type, of course. And then for his um, for his move set, maybe he could have hammer arm uh, like as a fighting type move. And then for ground type, he could have earthquake as an AOE. Um, and then for his ability, he could have like Swift Swim, uh, just like over here as his ability in the game, they could add in Swift Swim. So like when he's in rain, this guy gets much, much faster. So like he can get like a 50% increase to his speed, which would very much help uh, that team for sure. Um, so then you could land Earthquake quite often um, and then Hammer Arm. So like if you were to use Hammer Arm when you're in the rain, that hammer arm lowering your speed is not gonna matter at all. So I think that'll be a nice little combo there too. Um, so that that's my take on all this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. That's gonna be it for this. Uh, but let me know what you think of the options that I picked or if you have different options, definitely let me know down in the comments below. But this is what I have. Sorry if the video is a little bit too long. Um, but this this is what I feel um, like for the categories that we have in the game right now. Obviously, there's other categories that definitely need the help as well, but this is just the ones that I picked as of right now. Um, but that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you have any other options or uh, opinions about uh, the typings in the game and who you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below. But that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.